After 101 days, there's still intense fighting between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip. The Israeli military is vowing to keep pressing its offensive as the death toll rises on both sides. The main focus at this point in central Gaza, with Israeli forces saying that they're working to clear the city of Han Yunus, while also desperately searching for the more than 100 hostages still being held by Hamas. Every minute is critically significant, and we work with every opportunity and way to bring them back. But time could soon be running out. On Sunday, Hamas released a video showing three Israeli captives with a caption reading, tomorrow we will inform you of their fate. And on Monday, a new video appeared to show at least two of those hostages have been killed, while the third pleads for help. Meanwhile, the UN issued a new warning saying that Gaza is now suffering from a humanitarian crisis unprecedented in modern times. One of the biggest problems, the lack of food and water leading to widespread famine. Everyone in Gaza is hungry. We're exploring all possible solutions, but none are sufficient in the face of obstacles. The WHO also weighing in, saying civilians are dying in big numbers because they lack basic supplies like ointment to treat burns and bandages to keep wounds clean. The health system is on the edge of the abyss, desperately trying with all its might to maintain functionality. Right now, the UN claims that only about one quarter of trucks are reaching their destinations because they're being held at the border by Israel. In Tel Aviv, Israel, Alex Hogan, Fox News.